As you know, the Russian invasion of Ukraine has shown no signs of letting up. Why? Because Vladimir Putin clearly believes all of those dumb Instagram quotes about never giving up on your dreams. <laughs> God damn it, Vlad. We need more memes about realizing you suck and quitting. Anyway, because of that, the European Union is preparing all of its countries for a winter without Russian gas, which means they're gonna have to make some really drastic changes to life. And in world news this morning, Spain is heated over an air conditioning ban. The government there says certain shops and bars, they can't set air conditioning below 27 degrees Celsius. It's to limit dependence on Russian gas. Wow. Public buildings in Spain have to keep their air conditioning above 27 degrees Celsius. And I know right now, all the Americans watching are like, oh my God, that's so hot or so cold. I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm with you, Trevor. I don't know. Well, it's hot. It's 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah, now you're with me, yeah. And if you have to set your AC to that temperature, then what is even the point of having an AC? You may as well just hire some guy to breathe on you. Like, ah, ah. Thank you, Jared, that's so refreshing. Ah, ah. Were you eating Chipotle? And you know, I feel really bad for the Spanish people. They need air conditioning, probably more than anyone else, especially because of how naturally hot Spanish people are. <laughs> yeah, just being Spanish raises any temperature in the room by like 10 degrees. You know, even in like a boring meeting, it's like, excuse me, Janice, but do you have the TPS reports from accounting? <laughs> we need it for the fiscal quarter. It's like, oh my God. Now, if we had more time, we could talk about how Russia is showing the world why it's so necessary to move away from fossil fuels, especially because of the countries the fossil fuels are connected to and because of climate change. But we don't have the time for that because of another shitty thing that Russia is doing. WNBA star Brittany Griner today found guilty and sentenced inside of a Russian courtroom, nine years behind bars for smuggling cannabis oil. The Biden administration calling the trial a sham and saying the sentence is unacceptable. This is some bullshit. This is bullshit. We all know Russia doesn't care about what Brittany Griner did. Well, this is the same country that's breaking every human rights law on the planet, but they're like, oh, that woman has vape cartridge. Oh, she's a real criminal. Get the f out of here, man. <laughs> this is bullshit. We all know it. We all know it. And the one piece, the one piece of good news it looks like is that this seems like it's just a negotiation tactic. All right, Russia's like, ah, oh, we have prisoner for nine years. You give us a prisoner who was in America for, for nine years, you know? And you know what, I think they should just do it. Yeah, whoever America has in prison, send them to Russia. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they win, but don't forget, that person now has to live in Russia. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they'll get there and be like, this whole country is prison. I miss food in Alcatraz, no! <laughs> Now, if we had more time, we could talk about how this whole thing could have been avoided if the WNBA paid their stars enough that they didn't have to go and play in Russia in the off-season to make money. But unfortunately, we don't have the time to talk about that because there's another sports story about a male athlete who has broken out of prison, the prison of the mind. Aaron Rodgers recently revealing on a podcast that he used psychedelic drugs to improve his outlook on playing football. The 38-year-old said, quote, I really feel like that experience paved the way for me to have the best season of my career. He opened up about his experience on ayahuasca and a retreat in Peru. Ayahuasca is a plant-based psychedelic drug used to treat physical, mental, and spiritual issues in South American countries. Wow, okay. Do you understand how big this is, people? Aaron Rodgers just said, yo, I took drugs, and that's part of the reason I crushed the game. Yeah, that shows you how much times have changed. Because you remember back in the 90s, they'd bring someone like Shaq on TV to be like, remember kids, I'd rather kill myself than get high on marijuana. <laughs> don't do drugs. <laughs> but now this is accepted. And, and, and please, please, don't get it twisted. He wasn't playing while he was on ayahuasca. Although I kind of wish he was. <laughs> no, because I'd love to see what kind of plays a quarterback would think of while they're on the journey, you know? <laughs> All right, everybody, huddle up. It's fourth and one, so Johnson, you're gonna look deep in your soul, buddy. All right, and rediscover your inner child. All right, Dabowski, I'm gonna need you to hug that rainbow, man. You just hug it real hard. All right, Coleman, stop floating. Come on, everybody, let's do this! Now, if we had more time, we could talk about how great it is to see people like Aaron Rodgers normalizing conversations around whether we can use psychedelics to improve people's mental health and cure them from addiction. But unfortunately, we don't have the time because speaking of addiction, the Choco Taco is back. 
Okay, call this a comeback. Klondike hinting uh -huh. Uh -huh, that uh -huh. it might bring back the Choco Taco after a huge reaction to the news that it was going to be discontinued. The company says it's reflecting on the outpouring of support and demand and figuring out what the next step should be. This is amazing! <laughs> what? This is amazing! Klondike ended the Choco Taco and the fans brought it back. This is the kind of passion you normally only see in, like, the Beehive or the BTS Army. <laughs> yeah, in fact, they should get their own name. You know, the, 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 the Choco Taco Flaco, or like, a, like, like the, the, the Klondike Klux Klan. Maybe not that one, but, but you get my point. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just riffing here. I'm just riffing. Like, if we had more time, we could have fun with the conspiracy theory that this whole thing was a marketing stunt, or what other Tex-Mex foods could be ice creamified, but we don't have the time about, you know, to talk about any of that. I was just thinking a burrito. Because <laughs> you want to talk about something coming back from the dead? Then this could be the biggest story of our lives or deaths. A stunning medical breakthrough has raised questions about the line between life and death. Researchers at Yale University pumped a custom-made solution into the bodies of pigs that had been dead for over an hour. Incredibly, the chemical revived cells in the pig's liver, kidney, and brain, and their hearts even began to beat again. Scientists say this could lead to saving more human organs for transplant. Sweet Jesus in heaven. <laughs> Scientists have found a way to bring dead cells back to life. Whole organs, people, hearts beating again. Do you understand how mind-blowing this is? Yeah. Do you understand how, how mind-blowing this discovery could be? I feel like you guys are f***ing around right now. Pigs are coming back to life, people. <laughs> You realize it's not a long way off, but this, this could mean we're gonna be in a world soon where you could revive people who already died. We could make a Jurassic Park, but with people. <laughs> yeah. How dope would that be, bringing your grandma back to life and visiting her in the park? Oh, no, the grandmas are escaping! Ah! Everybody, cover your cheeks! Ah, they got me! I'm too cute! Ah! I feel like this should be the only story in the news right now. Do you, do you understand how big... They, they, the pigs, they made the cells come back to life. They were dead. They made it come... You guys don't even understand right now. <laughs> I don't even think you people understand right now. You understand how huge... It, yeah, there's always people like, who would you like to have dinner with, alive or dead? Now that shit could happen. <laughs> and all those dumb people are like, I would love to meet Hitler. And then it's like, ha, hello, no! <laughs> I don't even know why we're doing a TV. We shouldn't even be doing TV anymore. Everyone's talking about other things. They might have found a way to bring dead people back to life. <laughs> you guys still want to know about what? Joe Biden? I don't give a f about Joe Biden right now. <laughs> they use the, the thing, they put it inside. They've tried this with bypass machines. It doesn't work. The organs die. But then they pump these pigs with like a thing called like organ X. And now the pigs came. <laughs> you people don't even understand what I'm. <laughs> They have to make the pig sleep. They gave it a nerve blocker. And then when they gave the pig a dye injection to see what the brain was doing, the pig twitched. Yeah, yeah, now you understand. <laughs> this ethically is the craziest thing. We don't even... We're not ready for this. Yeah. This could redefine death. What is death? Who is death? How is death? <laughs> could be like an option now. You could die and then come back. Like, I want to die. Yeah, and then, like, do my funeral and then come back and watch it. Be like, oh, that's what you said about me when I was gone? Okay. <laughs> okay. This is wild. And I know it's scary. The one piece of good news is, though, it could lead us to a better world. Because someone has to bring you back. Yeah. So you'll be like, you guys are bringing me back, right? And people are like, yeah, 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 we'll bring you back, yeah. <laughs> I'll teach you to be an asshole. All right, that's all the time we got for the headlines. Before we go, let's check in on the traffic with our very own Redwood Junior, everybody. <laughs> the crazy world. Is that right? Crazy. Crazy, right. crazy world. My man, if what's something the... dead, it's supposed to stay dead. It's supposed to stay dead, Exactly. Right? That's right? what I'm talking about. The Choco Taco need to stay dead. <laughs> no, I'm not, I don't want to talk about the Choco Taco. I want to talk about the traffic. What do you want to talk about? You want to talk about traffic. You want to talk... I want to talk about Choco Taco. What? No, no Choco Taco. Why? Tra tra Cars, bitch. All right, now, Choco Taco. <laughs> Choco Taco. This is the thing. This is the thing we need to just be real about with the Choco Taco, all right? Klondike, they lied to us, man. They lied. 
They, that was an election. We had an election. We voted with our wallets, and we voted the Choco Taco out of the freezer, and now Klondike is trying to change the results of the election, <laughs> and I will not stand for that. You cannot change the results of an election after the election has been verified and solidified. This one, let me talk, I can't talk to you right now. I gotta talk to the people out there. Listen, listen, we cannot let them steal the Choco Taco election. Join me at the, at the Choco Taco factory and we will march there January 6th. It's too hot right now. And we will stop the steal. I, I don't think you want that. I don't we think you want that. We will stop thing. the steal. The Choco Taco should be dead. You can't bring it back to life. Well, people are happy. It's coming back. It's not coming. They said it might come back for a little while. They don't know. And you don't want that. You don't want food hopscotching in and out of your life. <laughs> like the McRib or Lobster Fest. If you're gonna be in my life, either be in my life or don't. <laughs> Can't be having you coming and going. <laughs> these people happy, but these people don't know what's gonna happen. They happy because of Choco Taco Pepper. Let me tell you, let me tell you what's gonna happen. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Choco Taco gonna come back in your life and it's gonna be good for a little while and you're gonna be all happy and be like, oh, Choco Taco is here to stay again. And you're gonna be like, you be here forever, Choco Taco? And then Choco Taco's gonna be like, well, I gotta go outside and get my phone charger. I'll be right back. And then it's gonna tiptoe away without ever saying goodbye, just like your daddy did that time in 97 and you ain't seen your daddy since and he's gone, where the hell is it? Well, this is this is why I didn't want to talk about the Choco Taco. I... Are you okay, Roy? I'm I'm gonna go do some ayahuasca and talk to my daddy. I <laughs> I get with you, man. I... Thank you so much, Roy Wood Jr. Everybody.